Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Evelyn Romero and Marjorie Chavez. This is the game from Chess Olympiad, women's section, that was played in Tromso in 2014. Evelyn Romero, playing with white pieces, is representing Ecuador. And Marjorie Chavez is representing Peru. Romero lady started with d4, d6, d4, d5, French defense. Knight to c3, d takes on e4, knight takes pawn on e4, knight to f6, white to move, knight takes knight, queen takes knight, bishop to d3, tempting black to capture the pawn c5 of course taking the pawn is out of question because of bishop to b5 check winning the queen so chavez lady played c5 knight to f3 queen to d8 romero castled kingside knight to c6 d takes on c5 bishop takes on c5 white to move any ideas for white maybe c3 doesn't look too bad and then queen to c2 romero played knight to g5 preventing castling if black would castle now let's have a look if black would castle then bishop takes on h7 check hmm. so how should black continue? What would you do if you had black pieces? Perhaps bishop to e7, attacking the knight would be the best. Chavez played a fancy move, knight to e5, in order to capture the bishop. White to move, what would you do now? Looking for checks and captures. Romero played the best move, bishop to b5 check, bishop to d7. And we have reached the most interesting position of the game, white to move. What would you do if you had white pieces? Hmm? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? When I looked at the game, you know what I found? no imagination did you find a better mode than this romero sacrificed the knight on e6 did you see this one coming attacking the queen so if pawn takes knight let's have a look if pawn takes knight then queen to h5 check and after knight to g6 or knight to f7, queen takes bishop. So bishop is lost. And Chavez lady decided to play a desperado move. So let's go back to our position. So in this position, instead of pawn takes knight, Chavez played bishop takes pawn on f2. Is that good? getting a pawn for a bishop may not be better than pawn takes knight because now after pawn takes knight white rook is on the open file preventing castling white to move white to play an obvious move and that is queen to h5 check Knight to g6. How would you continue to attack on black king? Perhaps bishop to d3 is not bad. Romero played bishop to g5, developing the bishop and attacking the queen. Queen to b6, attacking the bishop on b5 and pinning the rook on f2. Bishop to d3. 
Have a look at black ink. Black ink is between a rock and a hard place, to put it mildly. And player with black pieces can't find a move. If you don't know what to do, push a pawn. Chavez push the pawn. Why that one? Why not a6? If a6 is pushed, then can you see what happens then? Then bishop takes knight check pawn on h7 is pinned. Oh boy, oh boy. So we have in this position e5. Hmm. Rook to e1 attacking the pawn. Rook to f8. Rook takes pawn check. The knight is pinned. Bishop to e6 blocking. Why to move? What would you do? Would you play this? This is the move played in the game. Check. Queen takes rook. Why to move? Can you guess the move? Bishop to b5 check. Chavez could have resigned. But she knew that some people watching it on YouTube would complain about it, about her early resignation. So she continued playing, very thoughtful. Queen to c6. Bishop takes a queen check. Pawn takes bishop. Rook to e2 check. King to f7. Queen takes pawn on h7. Rook to h8. White played a move and black resigned. The move is Rook to f2 check. Black resigned. One line goes like this. It's possible to block with knight, really. It's Nothing is helping now. One line goes like this. King to e6. Queen takes knight, check. King to d5. Rook to f5, check. King to e4. Queen to e6, check. King to d4. And there is checkmate in one move. Bishop to e3, check mate in slow motion. Hmm, what do you think of this game? Did you see this brilliant knight sacrifice at move 12? Let's go to move 12. Did you see the sacrifice? If you did, congratulations. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king content. Bye for now.